Well, we're joined now by Namibia's High Commissioner to the UK, Steve Kashiwanya. Thanks very much indeed for joining us on this happy day for your country. Just tell us a little bit about the outgoing president and why he so deserves this prize. Tamlin, thank you for the opportunity. I would like to congratulate His Excellency President Buhamba for having been awarded this uh, prize. In the same vein, I would also like to congratulate, to, to confirm our gratitude towards the press committee for having recognized his leadership to consolidate not only democracy and peace, but to ensure that the citizens enjoy the welfare they deserve. Um, but why did, can, can you tell us something about the qualities of the president that, that meant that he deserved this honor? The president, um, uh, has a consultative style of leadership, mm. so much so that uh, he has made it a practice annually to consult mm. with the leaders of the opposition, the youth, the women movement, the transitional leaders, to ensure that they buy into his agenda for development of the country. In this respect, uh, the president, uh, under his leadership, the country has enjoyed high enrollment rates for school, primary schools in the region of almost 100 percent. Poverty has been reduced in the last 10 years by 50 percent. There is a comprehensive welfare and safety net uh, covering uh, um, social pensions, a grant for disabled, disab disabled citizens, as well as the veterans of our liberation struggle. Okay, so a lot of improvements, real improvements for real people there. What's his legacy going to be in the coming years as he leaves office? The legacy of the president uh, would be that he has consolidated democracy, uh, that he has continued to exhibit a consultative style of leadership, a citizen-centric uh, and commitment to the welfare of our people, and that he continued to not only champion the transformation of Southern Africa through regional integration, but all of that of the continent. Can I just ask you a question, and this really goes beyond the bounds of Namibia, I guess, but this award, which was set up by Mo Ibrahim, actually a UK-based billionaire, was supposed to support African development, and it hasn't been given for four years. What does that say about African leaders apart from the Namibian president? Thank you very much. I wouldn't say that there is a lack of uh, a leadership uh, because the prize hasn't been awarded. As we are aware, Africa is facing a lot of challenges, uh, many problems, and yet the continent is coming from a long history of foreign intervention and interference in internal affairs. Mm. The fact that uh, Africa has been growing uh, at almost close to 10 percent in annual GDP growth is a testimony that the continent has what it, what it takes to achieve not only economic growth but good governance. Already in the last few years, three more African presidents have received these awards. So there will be moments of success and there will be moments mm. of setback as Africa continues to champion its development agenda. Sure. Mm. But the fact that from the outside people look at this award and they think, you know, this is for good governance and for four out of the last five years it hasn't been awarded makes people outside Africa think, well, where are all these good leaders? Do you think, therefore, that this prize is a useful thing for the reputation of Africa? The prize is very useful because we continue to use, to use it as a benchmark mm. to improve governance system, to improve um, specific programs for ensuring safety and security, the welfare, improving the education system. So it remains still a very good benchmark for improving for program outcomes as well as quality leadership. However, as I have said, given the problems that uh, Africa is facing, given its long history, mm. there will be times when that leadership may not be seen coming forth. But the fact that already four, four times it has been awarded shows great potential 
Very quickly, though, um, it, it, isn't it the case that sometimes you have to wait for leadership to evolve, as you're kind of saying, because the Namibian president originally was very politically active with SWAPO, which was quite a violent organisation, and he has become this consensus builder. Uh, yeah, yes, this prize is, in fact, uh, as I have said, uh, it's a recognition of our president's involvement in fighting for the welfare of our people for almost 60 years put together. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the, there is certain skills that uh, he has developed many years ago and that he has put to good use during his tenure. Mm. And uh, we will continue to learn from his leadership skills as we take Namibia to the next stage by the 21st March when the new president will be inaugurated. Okay, well, we wish you all the very best of luck with it. Steve Kashiwanya, thank you for joining us here on the Arise News Hour. Thank you very much.